Weight management is one of the keys to fighting diabetes, and for the first time, there are now more people in the world who are obese than those who are underweight. The so-called obesity epidemic has UK lawmakers considering a soft drink tax. Richard Bestick explains. Around the world, 20% of adults will be obese in less than a decade, according to the WHO report. And there's no chance of hitting the UN's goal of halting by 2025 obesity's rapid rise. In Britain, the figures are worse, triggering government plans for a controversial tax on sugary drinks. I'm not prepared to look back at my time here in this parliament doing this job and say to my children's generation, I'm sorry. We knew there was a problem with sugary drinks. We knew it caused disease, but we ducked the difficult decisions and we did nothing. The UK government has the support of some scientists and health campaigners who claim a 40% reduction of sugar in soft drinks over five years could prevent 300,000 cases of diabetes in the country. Sugar, they say, is a global health problem an absolutely massive global problem. It's already a global problem in the UK and in, in America and Mexico. We have the heaviest population, or the most obese, one of the most obese populations in Europe. The soft drinks lobby, however, specifically uses the example of Mexico to counter UK government plans for attacks on sugary drinks. More than 70% of the Mexican population is deemed overweight or obese. And government taxes have been introduced to change that, a strategy which has failed, according to the UK's soft drinks industry. Where taxes have been introduced, the evidence suggests that they reduce calorie intake by just about six calories a day in the case of Mexico. That's not going to address obesity. That's not going to have a real impact. The UK government's plan could be the subject of legal challenge, should it be claimed that the new tax disrupts the free flow of trade while the industry insists it's already reducing sugar content in its products. The United Nations recognises that diabetes and indeed obesity are two internationally growing problems. However, as the UK government has discovered, finding a solution to those problems is often easier said than done. Richard Bestick, CCTV, London.